Well, this is the most significant attack that's taken place in Nigeria since authorities announced last week that it's in ceasefire talks with Boko Haram militants. The attack points out that those negotiations are likely only focused on one Boko Haram faction. The political pressure on the government is as such right now that it has to act, it has to do something. On the side of the insurgents, when they started, they were just one group. Uh, they were active. They were able to take control of territory. Now we're in a situation where we're, talk we're talking of about three groups factionalized. They are not in control of any territory. So either side, no side has been able to beat its chest to say we have achieved what we set out to achieve. So what next, if not a negotiation? Well, let's get you more now on that story. I'm joined live from Lagos by our correspondent, Deji Badmus. Uh, Deji, to begin with, what's the latest on the attack and the perpetrators? Can you talk us through what happened? Well, Lindy, the military has actually been speaking about what happened, and uh, what we gathered is that this attack actually happened uh, in uh, a community in the outskirts of Maiduguri, not in Maiduguri per se, but a community not far away from Maiduguri, and that the attackers came into that community at about uh, 8, 10 p.m. last night. And um, what happened was that uh, while some of them opened fire, there were other uh, insurgents who were carrying IEDs and... Uh, the military, of course, responded. They were repelled, and uh, in the process, uh, some of them, some of those who were carrying IEDs, now detonated their IEDs, and people were confused because of the shooting. People were running up and down. So those who were actually killed, because the military says um, 15 civilians were killed, 15 persons were killed, including a soldier, that those, most of those who were killed were actually civilians who were just running out of confusion and didn't know what exactly was going on. Uh, so uh, the military saying that uh, altogether 15 persons were killed, um, 15 civilians now, so including a soldier, and that um, six Boko Haram insurgents were killed and uh, seven other Boko Haram insurgents bearing IED were, were, according to the military, neutralized. So altogether, if you sum up the death toll, uh, that's uh, the death toll now, add everything up, that will be 28, including the Boko Haram insurgents uh, that, that were killed. And the military says that uh, it's in hot pursuit of uh, the remaining insurgents and that it, it successfully repelled uh, the attack now on, on that community. Well, Deji, th this attack, of course, comes after Nigeria just last week said it's in ceasefire talks with Boko Haram, and that potentially means talking with two factions of the same militants group. But what does this attack then mean for those talks? Well, first of all, Lindy, let me say uh, we're not absolutely sure that uh, the government is talking with two factions. Uh, we do not know. The faction that we are we're sure that the government is talking with, that's the faction that kidnapped uh, uh, the Dabchi girls now. That will be the uh, Musab al Banawi faction. Uh, that is quite different from uh, the, uh, the Abubakar Shekau faction. So th that's, that's how, uh, as far as we know. We, we're not so sure that um, the government is talking with the other faction. And we, we do not know uh, the faction that carried out this attack. If, uh, it, it's actually the faction that the government has been talking to. Um, if it's not the faction that the government has been talking to, then it means uh, those talks would still be on uh, since it's not that faction that carried out the attack. In any case, um, what people should understand is that there's no ceasefire agreement in place at all. So um, the battle is still active. Uh, it is still, uh, because there's no ceasefire in place, anything could actually happen. The soldiers have not withdrawn. Uh, of course, they, they, would be, they would be defending their positions. There's every likelihood that Boko Haram insurgents too may want to attack and try to gain more grounds and all of that. So because you do not have any ceasefire in place, things like this could happen. But most importantly is that we're not absolutely sure which of the factions actually carried out this attack. If it was the Abubakar Shekau faction, then it would be understandable because the government, as we know, uh, is not yet in talks with the Abubakar Shekau faction. We understand that faction is not ready for talks at all, uh, apart from the Albanawi faction. So, um, you know, I, I don't think, I don't think, it all depends now. I don't think uh, the talks are in any form of jeopardy at all. I think the talks can actually still continue, even in the face of hostilities. Uh, the, the government will try as much as possible to strike a deal. But of course, with, with, uh, this, with, with attacks like this, there's no question that um, people begin to mount pressure on the government to actually come out, you know, 
come out openly as to what exactly is going on uh, with those yeah, talks. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Deji Badmus, joining us there live uh, from Lagos.